The only time I read about prototypes was in black and white writing in prison when I was sitting on a bench for eight hours just reading the walls and trying to figure out what I was going to do next and how I was going to do it and when it was going to happen. I was pregnant with Harley at the time. It was a sign in CIW that I read saying that I could be with my child. And I jumped on it. I was trying to come into prototypes pregnant so I wouldn't have to have him in prison. And unfortunately, I had to wait and I had, to, had Harley in prison. It was hard because I knew he wasn't coming back with me. He went into a foster home. Um, but I knew when I came to Prototypes, I would eventually be reunited with him. When I first met Candace, she was um, very quiet and withdrawn. It was hard to get her to see how honesty was going to be important in her recovery. I was a client here myself in 98, so I know what it felt like to be living here, coming from being in prison to, to start in recovery, and how that process could be difficult, um, and how it could benefit her. Uh, Ms. Dotson came in. And she said, Candace, uh, I need to talk to you. Uh, they're going to let you visit with Harley. And it was just for a visit. It was just to see how we were going to connect. And then they brought him in. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> so she explained, the social worker said, we're not here for a visit, I'm here to drop him off. And I got a little photo album with a little letter in it, giving me his little itinerary as to when he sleeps and eats, when he takes a bottle. So that would, that was help me out a lot. Um, yeah, that was the beginning of the beginning. <laughs> so this is Harley. <laughs> Harley's two. <laughs> We're very, very attached. <laughs> Very attached. <laughs> Well, Candace is a good hard worker. She's progressed in here in our facility up to a resident leader, which holds the most authority, and she's still a work in progress. And she's going through the process of recovery every day. Prototypes is powerful. It's, uh, it's fulfilled a lot of dreams for people, a lot of hope.